Hey guys, just uh, we're just waiting on God for you. Amen. So you've got a daughter who has been taken away. How old is she? She's ten. Ten. Praise God. And where is she? In uh, France. In isn't France, yeah, in foster. They put her in foster placement. You need a miracle, don't you? Do you sleep okay at night? You don't sleep okay at night. But you haven't been sleeping okay for a long time. Since you're a little girl. You, there's something that manifests in the night. And sometimes you get headaches. Here. Is that right? And your head throbs. It's a spirit of uh, witchcraft. Since you're a little girl. The spirit of witchcraft has stole the door because it hates you. So you believe that Jesus will deliver you? It wouldn't surprise me that your son is manifest. Yeah, he's always doing that. If I want to do something. So what's happening is we're waiting on the Lord. Amen? To deliver your daughter. And you, that's the power of God coming on you now. That's the power of God coming on you now. You can reach out your hands towards Michelle. That's the power of God coming on you now. You feel that yet? That's the power of Jesus Christ coming on you, Michelle. I see a heavenly person standing in front of you, Michelle. I think it's an angel. I see. Uh, on your left side, I see a heavenly being standing. And that's the power of God going through to Michelle. So I, I, um, I'm not trying to do anything. I'm just waiting on the master to do it. Okay? So the anointing's coming on your right side. And there's an angelic being on your left. The anointing is getting more intense, stronger. It's coming on you. Praise God. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. Now that's the power of God going through the mind. That's the power of God going through your head, delivering your, your brain. Michelle, do you believe that Jesus Christ will do this? Yes, I Okay, amen. And deliver your daughter. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. Praise God, praise God. Close your eyes. Tuesday after the meeting with Pastor Mark, the family judge called all the parties for an urgent meeting concerning my first daughter, Hosanna, who was placed in foster care. The judge cancelled all her biological father's rights. She maintained Hosanna in placement while the foster care team will work with myself and my daughter to prepare her definite return into my care as she was taken away from me by her biological father more than three years ago in 2015. She gave me the right to call her on the phone regularly 
and to spend quality time with her during visits in town without supervision. My daughter was so happy to see me. She told me she feels good now that she has seen me and knows that she will return home with me in the nearest future.